must you make sex so boring? You really don't like seeing other people happy, do you? When the alternative is the excitement and passion misery brings. No talking to Carla during sex. Fine. I'm leaving this snooze fest anyway. All right, she's gone. Good. She is right, you know. What do you mean? I just mean that you could be a little more adventurous with me. <laughs> no, no, no. You get all my love and passion, and Edward takes care of the kiki stuff. Don't worry, he can handle it. Man, I don't understand. You said that you said that this was a routine procedure, and now you're calling to tell me that my mother is dead. No. Oh, so now you're saying that the teeth whitening didn't even work? What are people gonna think at her funeral? That feels really good. I feel like that was really good. Ugh. That was great. Actresses. Yeah. Hello. Hey, Milton. Hey, baby. How you doing? Oh, yeah. Okay. Wait, are you gonna come over? What do you mean you're on a plane? You're moving home? Well, I just, I wish you would have told me about this, Milton. I thought we were dating. Okay. All right. That's, okay. They're taking the phone away from you. Well, good luck, buddy. Danny Dennis, what happened to your face? Oh, did I stumble upon this figure, First, please don't call me Daddy Dennis. Just Dennis. All right, big boy? Just Dennis. But your big manly beard, it's gone bye-bye. What happened? We took home that Chester guy and Chaz decided to bust out a candle because he wanted to give wax play a try. And he got way too close to my beard and it went up like a rocket. That sounds terrifying and exciting. Sex and danger do go hand in hand. Just like daddies and babies. Right. Well, anyway, this big dude faints and Chester has to stop sucking to help put me out. Needless to say, we're not very happy with Chaz today. Hey, what you thinking about? I don't know. I just feel like last night could have gone down so differently. Maybe, but it wasn't your fault. I never said it was. Hey, um, I was thinking, why don't you come over tonight? What do you think? Don't you have work to do? Sure. Yeah, no, yeah, you're right, yeah. You know I love spending time with you. It's just, you've got a big exhibit coming up and I don't want to distract you from your work. Oh, you people! Every time I think one of you is just going to bring me some joy, you each fail me in turn. Do you know how boring it is to be dead and see no drama? So my investors are really eager to take this public soon. like. In April, they're thinking of beta testing in houses across America. Well, those that can afford it. Oh, and someone wants to buy my VR tech. Wow, that's impressive. So what if you stole the idea from that crazy doctor lady? She was torturing people with it. You know what? You've been a real stick in the mud these days. Simon's about to make a shit ton of money, and all you can think about is a little theft of intellectual property? Yeah, it's not like she trademarked the idea. Yeah, it's not like she trademarked the idea. And let's get back to the money. Like, there's definitely a lot of it. Like, enough for two daddies to live the life they've always wanted. So, how about we revisit the idea of you adopting me? They'll be back. I think they will. I hope they will. I'm wet. Oh my god, you guys, there's been an accident. Someone got hit by a car. We need to go. Would take this. Oh, don't tell me what it can and can't take. Uh, 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 I 
I am not going to do this again. Oh, but it's so much cheaper than seeing Zhang Yi every month. It's so much cheaper just to leave everything alone. Yeah, blame Glenda. She's the one that got me addicted to it. And she's not around anymore. All the more reason to keep her in my heart. By ripping out your fur? Hey, hey, you get my chest. You get my beard. Let's leave my back to me, okay? I'm serious. I'm still not going to do this anymore. It is really gross. You sure you don't want to come with me? No, no. You got your things to do, and I've got my things to do. Okay. Look, I get you trying to transition to four-year school, okay? I just don't think that this is the right one for you. You're set to graduate at the end of the year with an associate you haven't even picked a major in. I don't know. I just think that, like, Hunter College is a place that I can succeed. Do you mind if I look at this for sure? Yeah, sure. I mean, I... That's not Hunter, though. I got that in the mail. Stanford? It's in, uh, it's in California, right? Smart. You should major in geography. Ha <laughs> um, ha Do you guys have a program like this at your school? Uh, LGBT studies? Yeah. It's part of uh, the Women and Gender Studies Department, but... Kid, listen, I mean, what kind of job do you think you'll get, you know, majoring in that? I don't know, something that helps people. But I'm just saying, kid, you know, you gotta be smart to pick a major that you can make the real money in. There are lots of ways to make money without a college degree. Trust me, I've done a few. Come on, Halloween is our time. We did a group costume last year. And we'd love to do one this year. Me and Chaz can't have a party this year. Well, this is news to me. Don't be like that, I thought you were gonna tell him. Tell me what? Fine. Me and Chaz aren't working here tonight. I don't know. I don't understand. It, it's Halloween. We always celebrate Halloween together, here. How are you guys just gonna go and change that about me? Thank you. She tried to murder one of your best friends and you want to work for her. Trust me, Holly hadn't gotten down on her knees and begged, I wouldn't be here. a bunch of fools setting yourselves up for suffering. That's comforting. Thank you. It just hurts. You know what I mean? There are days I don't even want to get out of bed. Thank you, Ted. I really appreciate your opening up like that. But next time, please just answer the question posed to you so we can get through everyone, okay? Now, Steve, same question. I'm, uh, I'm 33. Thank you. I think that's everyone. You know, you don't need to take care of me, Ted. Be quiet, Rupert. Don't you see that taking care of you is the only thing holding me back from killing myself? Well, when you put it that way... Do you mind, please? You're supposed to speak when it's your turn, not have side conversations. You promised you wouldn't let him dominate this week. I do not dominate. I mean, you sort of do. You're a major power bottom, big bro. Not what anyone here is talking about. Will you two just shut up, please? Some of us here have real problems. What she said. Right, speaking of which, we haven't heard from you yet. Did you want to speak this week? Um, hi, my name is Drake. 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 Hi. Wonderful to finally hear from you. What brings you here? Uh, well, I'm an artist, and I've got my first major showing coming up soon. Uh, but I'm finding it hard to create. Uh, I feel blocked, which has never happened to me before. Um, I, I want to work, I, I physically can. Just something is, is blinding me from that final image, you, you know what I mean? What do you think's holding you back? Um, honestly, I think I'm just too happy. Incredible. You too, stud. <laughs> you too.
I really wish you were here. I, I'd love to pick up where we left off at the bar that day. You and me both. <laughs> I've had a lot of fun on the road, but with you, it's different. It's something special. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you even like me uh, almost clean shaven, huh? Yeah. Uh, Three kids, three bouts of lice. That's the price you pay. Listen, I, I need to go get cleaned up. My wife is going to be back from her hot yoga class soon and can't let her see me all hot and bothered. Oh, no, I I completely understand. Um, do you think we could do this again sometime? You bet. <laughs> Oh yes, I can definitely get what I need here. You, you're new, so just so you know, those two over there, they're mine. They may not know it, they may not want to admit it yet, but they're mine. All right, you got nothing to worry about. They got nothing that interests me. I'm looking for a real bear god. Change the light bulb in the sex box. It's way too bright in there. Now that is what I am talking about. You know, Glenda should be here with me. It's her story after all. Well, Glenda is nowhere to be found. And besides, she gave the rights of her story to you. You don't need her. Well, no, I don't need her here, but I, I want her here. But you have me. And I am all that you need. Though I am surprised you didn't bring that big, gruff husband of yours. I'd wager he's very good at intimidating people in a negotiation. Well, I don't think that I need intimidation for this. And besides, I don't want a war hunter. I, I, he's got other things to worry about. He's got more important things to worry about. Yes, more important than his husband's potential business deal. Anthony, Poppet, there, there's something you're keeping from me. Maybe. I, I just mean, I, I just, Hunter and I are back together. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so, I'm, I'm so happy. I, I'm just I'm so worried too because. It's not just like it's, a, it's like a house of cards, and if I blow the wrong way, it's all just gonna come crashing down. And then oh, Poppet, I've been in the room when you're blowing it. There's no way you're doing it wrong. Stop. That's not what I mean. Anthony, you have to tell this to Hunter. You can't keep it bottled up inside, or else you'll just burst. Or and hear me out on this. Or I could just keep it bottled up inside and. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen used car salesmen that look more trustworthy. Be on guard. <sighs> Sorry for the delay, Tony. You don't want to call you Tony, do you? Actually, I... Tony. I got a Tony. I love Pishmash. I think it's exactly the story the public is looking for. You do? Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Now stop blabbing and let him speak. Yeah, so what about the used car salesman stuff? That was before I knew he loved the book. Now, hush, he's staring. Absolutely. Trans characters are so hot right now. Don't the fact that he's an assassin? You got yourself a hit. She. Excuse me? Well, Glenda uses female pronouns. Sure. Whatever. How do we get this thing into production? You're serious? You really want to make this happen? What did I say about you opening your mouth? Now, hush, let him talk. Um, to me, it's already a done deal. And let me tell you, I'm gonna bury you with so much cash, you don't know what to do with yourself. Hmm. And I don't gotta tell you how much dick being famous is. I'm not really sure that I- Stick with me, Tony. I see a real bright future for the two of us. Yay. Oh, he's alive. I'm so worried. There were so many scary noises coming out of there. You should not have been listening. You should have been doing your homework. A fella can be concerned. All of you guys are very loud. Master's definitely gonna be okay. Just a little pent up, that's all. Hey, don't make me put that ball gag back in your mouth. Fine by me. Never met a ball my mouth didn't like. 
Don't laugh at that. Wait, is he using our sink to wash your sex toys? I use that sink! Hey, it's important to follow proper sanitary procedure after intercourse, or else your equipment gets ruined. It starts to smell really funky. I'm just glad you finally decided to come visit your secret family. Stop. Anthony knows all about you and Dad in this apartment. It's just not fair. Edward gets to live with you and I don't. Edward is my slave. What's the point of having a slave if he's not there to do things for me? Uh, plus, Anthony and I tied up in two huge long leases, so we figured we'd make the best of it. You know, I'll give you and Dad your space. So you lock us up in this big old tower and you trot your sex slave in whenever Anthony's leaving you all pent up? Come on, back me up here. Jeez, what crawled up your butt and died this week? Can't I just miss my mama bear? And can't I just want to come over and have sex with Edward with my perfectly satisfied husband at home? I sure hope so, or else I'm losing my touch. I just thought, you know, after the wedding, we'd all be one big happy family under the same big happy roof. But now I feel like if you didn't keep your dungeon here, you'd never see me at all. Come on, that's not true. I guess I should consider myself lucky, though. If Anthony wasn't such a prude, you wouldn't need an open marriage to get off. I told you that sarcastic mouth of yours is gonna get less cute as you get older. Room for one more? Only if you don't talk. You can wash my back. Oh. You know I care about you guys, right? Of course you do. I mean it. You and Reese are like family to me. It's not just about the sex thing. It's okay. Even if it was, I like making you happy. When you come and you get that little twinkle in your left eye, I know I've done my job. You're much more than just a slave to me, Edward. I know, I know. Part-time master talking here. I mean it. You and Reese. Your family to me, but now Anthony is too. I get it. You just need to cam cameralize. Uh, ca com compartmentalize? It just keeps them safe. Yeah. Well, when Veronica did that thing she did, totally unexpected, I suddenly found myself back with Anthony, and I didn't think that was ever going to happen again. I, I, also, I promised myself then that I was going to do whatever it takes to make sure that Anthony and I stayed together. And that means he gets the nice, sweet, loving hunter. Well, that explains the extra oomph in our sessions then, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, I guess that part of me needs some place to go. And you got the brunt of it. Sorry. Mama Bear? It's not a good time, kid. I just want to say I'm sorry. I know. I know you are. I'm sorry, too. I promise I'll be around more often. Does that mean I get to go to the Hell House tonight? No, you gotta be at the bar. You know it's the most busiest time of the year. What do you think? Do you like it? No. No. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. We don't like it. Don't it look so cute in my little sexy clown costume? Honey. The purpose of this room is not to look sexy, which is a good thing because you won't have to try so hard. Oh, where do you want me to put these chains? Mama, these chains do not go in here. This is the surgery room. No self-respecting doctor forcing an abortion on his patient is going to use chains. He's gonna use padded handcuffs. What do you think, Mama? Don't I look so much cuter as a sexy clown? Oh, you do look cute, honey. But I don't think it fits with the theme of your sister's little haunted house. Hell house, Mama. It's a hell house. Hell house. Sinners come here to learn what happens whenever they sin. They're gonna go straight to hell. Hence, hell house. Come on. But I don't wanna be in the abortion room. 
Well, then you just shouldn't look so promiscuous, Apollina. Then you wouldn't be such a perfect fit. <laughs> look at it this way, sweetie. At least you'll be the star of this room. Pop. Yay. You know what? I'm excited. Yeah, you know what? I am too. I mean, this is kind of like our first Halloween. Yeah, you could call it that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and you know how much I love Halloween. Well, I think we both have that in common. <laughs> I'm really glad you're my husband. I am so happy about that too. All right, I think we need to go inside so we don't be late. Piper needs to show us what we have to do after all. Yeah. Well, whatever it is, I'm glad we're doing it together. <laughs>